Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. No, I'm not Ryan. This is a $10 coat from Goodwill. Um, we go cheap around here when we can. But anyway, um, if y'all remember a couple weeks ago, we got some Thanksgiving turkeys in, some new turkey poults in the mail. Um, because one of Saunders big goals this year is to always have turkey available at our farmer's market because it is such a popular product. So, got a group of turkeys in and they've been out here in our brooders. Um, we got these birds in right before we had that big winter storm and uh, fared pretty well. We'd lost a few early on and then the other night um, I made a big mistake trying to harden these birds off because they're just about fully feathered and they've been in these brooders and um, you know they've just not been exposed to any cold air but anyway I tried hardening them off took the covers off and we lost five uh, the other night but anyway it's time to get them out. Um, they're about four weeks old. They're filling these brooders up. We're getting heavy manure load. We're adding shavings and we're doing all the stuff that we can do, but um, these birds are just too big for the space that they're in. So today we're gonna show you what we do when it's time to bring turkeys out of the brooder, but they're not quite ready to go into netting. So hang out with us for a little bit and let's show you how we kind of bridge that gap to get these birds from brooder to intermediate step to pasture. So hang out with us for a little bit. I worked for a concrete company too, but they tried to orange that out. Anyway. So real quick reminder on what we do with these turkeys whenever we get them in. We put them in these, uh, in our brooders. These are our small brooders. And they've got a couple of brooder lamps and a drinker and a water in there. And then because it's been so cold, we've put a tarp over top and then just laid, you know, a couple chairs and a couple shovels on top to, um, kind of conserve some heat and keep these keep these birds warm. And like I say, we tried to harden them off the other night and I think I done too much at one time. We'd taken the tarps off the night before, they done fine, then the next night, I turned one of the lights off. There's two lights in each one of these brooders. Turned one of the lights off and we ended up losing um, five turkey poults. So, and yeah, it's a little bit disappointing because we started out with 60 and we lost 10 early on just in the first 24, 48 hours. So that put us down to 60 and now we've lost another five so now we're at 15. That's very disappointing because the ones that we done for Thanksgiving we only lost two of those birds out of all the ones that we ordered. So um, let me flip let me flip this back here and let y'all have a look and see what this look see what they look like inside. So these are the turkey bolts and like I say they're they have outgrown the space so we got to get them out of here and that's the plan today. So Let's show you what we're going to do, show you how we're going to bridge that gap and uh, how we're going to try to keep them warm, safe, um, but get them out of these small brooders. Okay, so here's the, uh, here's the big plan for what we're gonna do. This is one of our Siskovich style chicken tractors. And a couple weeks ago, Jamie over here spent quite a bit of time, smile at the camera there, Jamie, spent quite a bit of time um, getting our chicken tractors ready to go for the season. Um, we had some bad weather, it was cold, had an opportunity to work inside. So we ended up pulling all of the chicken tractors into the shop and going through and, you know, replacing chicken wire where it needed it, uh, fixing holes where it needed it. We went into each one of them and put um, some, we, we improved our hanging system for uh, feeders and drinkers, um, put new ropes on, scabbed pieces. I mean, we got them ready to go. So we're, we're ready to put these things to work. So the plan today is we're going to turn one of our Siskovich style chicken tractors into uh, an intermediate step for these turkeys um, and get them out of these small brooders up here. And these are, our, these are our small brooders. These are the ones that we had ready to go when these turkeys came, so that's what we ended up putting them in. And I've had a bunch of folks that have asked for copies of plans and have, have got copies of plans for these, and I'm gonna post a link in the description down below. If you want a copy of, of the plans for these small brooders, I want to put that uh, in the description down below. Eventually, we're going to have y'all a set of plans for our big brooder, but more to come on that later. So, for right now, we're going to get this ready. We're going to do a couple things. We're going to put the tarp on it, and then we've got a bunch of cardboard 
um, that we uh, um, you know that we get our meat delivered from our processor in great big Amazon box we're gonna cut some of this up and we're gonna line the inside of this chicken tractor around the bottom with cardboard then the tarp will be over we're gonna put a couple of brooder lamps in it so we're turning this basically into kind of a an intermediate brooder before they're ready to go out birds are four weeks old uh, be four weeks old in a couple days so hopefully fingers crossed um, we can put them in some netting and let them start to day range here in a couple of weeks but y'all it's cold we had ice this morning uh, I bet if there was one wreck around here there was probably 50 wrecks I mean it's crazy slicker than a snot on a doorknob but uh, it's still cold and raw but we're going to work out here nice to be in a barn you know we talked about this earlier it's nice to be in this barn we've got power in here um, we've got lights so I mean we've got a real nice space in here to work so we're going to take advantage of it so let's get to work on this brooder or on this tractor and turn it into uh, an intermediate brooder There you go. So real quick, I want to remind y'all of the promotion that we've got going with Stockman Grass Farmer. Um, they've been nice enough to give us a discount code for all of our viewers. They're calling it the Sheraton Park Friends and Neighbors Discount. Right now you can get 10% off of the Stockman Grass Farmer Grazers Marketing School. Now we've gone through part of this and there's a lot of fantastic information in it. Joel Salton does, a line, does the line share of uh, the work on this. Link is in the description down below. Go down there and sign up. We've got it set up right now, 10% off, plus you can get the first module free of charge, no obligation whatsoever. And then if you sign up and do the rest of the program, uh, they will give you a, a money back guarantee if you don't feel like you got value out of the program. So link is in the description down below. Go down there and sign up. The Stockman Grass Farmer Grazers Marketing School. If you're selling meat, if you're selling the products that you're growing on your farm, uh, this is something that you really need to get involved in, listen to. They've got a lot of great tips and tricks on there on how to maximize profits on your farm. The Stockman Grazers, um, the Stockman Grass Farmers Grazers Marketing School, link is in the description down below. Okay, so what we're doing here is we are um, taking some scrap cardboard that our meat comes in when we pick it up from the processor, and we're cutting it to length, and we're just simply stapling it on the inside walls of the chicken tractor on the bottom portion. The reason we do that is we've got some tarps that may be long enough to go all the way down the, to, the, to the ground, but I'm not sure where they are and don't know that I've got any that right now that would go all the way. So this provides a windbreak for those birds inside of the tractor and <clears throat> provides some insulation. We'll also put one on the door here so that you know we're, we're keeping them out of the wind and it just it's, helps to keep them warm. Why are we using cardboard? Well, first off, it doesn't add any real appreciable weight to the weight of the tractor. If we were to go in here and we were to, you know, put in some, some quarter inch, three eighths inch plywood along the bottoms, it's gonna add a bunch of weight. It's gonna make that thing difficult to move. So we don't wanna do that. And then later on, we gotta unscrew it and take it off for summertime operations. The birds are gonna peck at this. It's gonna get wet. It's gonna start to fall apart. When it does, it's fine. It can just lay right where it is because it's going to decompose. It's just it's just cardboard. It's no big deal. And then also, at the end of the season when we're ready to go back to summertime operations and pull all this off, we can just take that and throw it in the compost pile and just compost it. So these boxes end up being used for three different things. We get the meat home in them. We're providing some insulation for the birds, and also it'll help to, provide, to build some uh, soil for the garden or wherever we need some compost. So that's the purpose in using those. It's cheap. We, we pay for the boxes, but I mean, it's cheap, reusable, and it works great. Doesn't add any weight, provides windbreak. Fantastic for a little bit of insulation. Okay, we got our cardboard attached. Uh, we put a piece over the door. So we've got the door covered, and then we've got all the rest of the inside um, lined with cardboard. And we also rounded as much as we could, we rounded these corners to prevent um, piling because these birds, I think that's part of what's happening in the brooders is they're getting in the corner and, and watch this on your, whether you're doing turkey poults or whether you're doing baby chicks or whether you're doing 
guineas, quail, whatever. Um, those baby birds, you got to watch them. They will pile up in the corner um, and try to use each other to keep warm. And there's always that one goober that ends up on the bottom, or in some cases, three or four goobers that end up on the bottom. And basically, they get suffocated by their uh, by their brooder mates because um, they got all that weight on top of them. So going to round the corners off try to try to keep uh, try to prevent some of that from happening and we're also again we're going to have a couple of lamps in this we're going to have a couple of brooder lamps in here for additional warmth so um, brooders intermediate steps make sure you're rounding your corners and uh, trying to keep those try to keep those birds out of the corner as much as you can so they don't pile up on each other and uh, smother each other Okay, there's our three lamps. We've got them fairly evenly distributed from front to back um, and got them down low enough. What we're trying to do is we're trying to keep the heat in the, in the middle of the uh, tractor so that those birds won't have a tendency to move towards the corners. Jamie and I were just talking about, I think probably what we're gonna do is put the feed in one corner and the water in another um, to at least block those areas off and keep them out of them. They'll still leave us two corners, but you know, Hopefully between having the heat in the middle, taking up a couple of corners, we'll slow down uh, some of that corner bunching up that we see where the birds end up getting killed. Okay, we got the birds out. Uh, I had some shavings. Uh, so Jamie said, let's put some shavings down on the ground so that they've got some dry spot. Because um, the grass is just a little bit a little bit wet. Like I said, we had a little rain, a little sleet, and that kind of thing here this morning. We've got our three lights in. We've got, you can't see them, they're off camera, but we've got feeding water in the corners. And uh, they're starting to explore a little bit. Turkeys will tell you a lot by the sounds that they're making. So spend some time with your birds and learn the sounds that they're making. There's a very quiet uh, chirp um a real quiet uh, just kind of rattle that they make right now and they do that whenever they're happy and when, when they're content and so they seem like they're very happy very content and they're they started off doing exactly what you expect turkeys to do and that's to start scratching and pecking and uh, you know eating a little grass and that kind of thing so they look good um i feel pretty good about our insulation um with the cardboard the tarp the three lamps um, and then some shavings supposed to get down to what's the temperature tonight uh, 29. supposed to get down to 29 tonight so you know i think they'll be okay um but the tale will be told in the morning when we come out and check them so intermediate step for turkeys between the brood and the pasture all right so we got those turkeys out uh, in this tractor um i think that's i think they're going to do okay um Supposed to get 29 tonight, um, but I believe they're gonna be fine. We got plenty of light. Feed water, taking up a couple of those corners. Um, we'll see. You know, again, Saunders' goal has been to have turkey all year long, and this is this is the earliest that we've ever started with turkeys. Um, so kind of figuring out how they're gonna manage the cold weather, how they're gonna manage the cooler temperatures. It's a learning curve, and you know, that's the thing about farming. If you don't know, 
Um, you can read all the books, you can watch all the videos you want to, but you got to try. And like I've said before, you know, if you're interested in doing turkeys or you're interested in doing chickens or sheep or cattle or goats or whatever it is, and you just got to try. Just go for it. You can do it. We can, you know, we've done it, and if we can do it, anybody can because we came into this thing with zero experience uh, just a few years ago. And uh, look at us now, making all kinds of mistakes. But anyway, I think that's going to do it. Um, like we always say, please continue to keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your family. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.